Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you how to assign PTZ controls to a specific camera source using the Flex Control Panel, giving you more control and flexibility to create your show. So, let me show you how it's done, son! All right, so I have my TriCaster 2 Elite interface up, and I have my Flex Control Panel here on my desk. So let's combine these two, and I'm going to show you how you can use the Flex Control Panel to assign different sources uh, to your PTZ uh, controls that are on the left and right of the Control Panel itself. Okay, so the first way to do this is to be in Follow Preview mode, and if I zoom in, onto my control panel here on the top left, you'll see that I have an option that is currently illuminated that says follow preview. And what that means is anything that you have selected on your preview row will then be assigned to the different controls on your flex control panel. So for example, right now I have my mix effect number one on my preview row. And if I use my controls in here, well, you can see my guy over here on the left, he's going to start to move around a little bit because those are what the controls are assigned to. Now, if I assign it to my input, which is number one, go ahead and put number one on preview. And now if I move around using my control panel like that, you'll see that that moves around accordingly as well. Okay? So that's using the follow preview mode. But the next one I want to show you is how you can assign just a specific source a specific source to uh, your flex control panel so that way when you're switching your show you don't necessarily have to make sure that that inputs on uh, I mean, on your preview row uh, in order for you to make those changes all right so to do that let's just go ahead and zoom back into the flex control panel and you'll see underneath follow preview there is an option for source and if I click on that one You'll see that is no longer illuminated, and now sources, which makes it convenient so that you can tell which uh, mode you're in. And in order to assign it, what you'll end up doing is you'll hold the source button down and then select whichever one of these inputs you want it to control. So I'm going to select number one, which is my source. So there you go. Now it's illuminated, uh, uh, brighter, uh, so that you can tell which mode you're in. Okay? So uh, now, if, let's say I have my mix effect number one and number two on my uh, program in preview. Uh, if you move, if I move my controls around like this, for example, you'll see that my preview input isn't doing anything, but my camera source over here, hello, uh, definitely is. All right. So pretty cool. So now another thing that I want to show you is uh, how you can uh, assign, control, delete uh, different presets of your uh, camera positionings on the flex control panel as well. Uh, so uh, for example, so that's kind of why I have this panel open right now because you can normally go through on the interface like this and just click a button like the snapshot one here and that will save that to that particular preset. if I press the button. So like that, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, so now that particular preset's there. Now, but you can do all of this directly from the flex control panel. So you can free up your hands to do that. So I wanna have this open so you can see that it does the same thing whenever I do those controls. So we'll go back to my control panel and yet again, we'll zoom over to the top left corner. And the button to do that is gonna be the preset button. Okay, so when I hold that button down, you'll see that the lights in my control panel change slightly, like so. So you have a yellow row uh, for the preview, the a green row for your program, and a red row up here at the top for the downstream keyers. All right, so there's three different things to, uh, to note here. So in order to assign that particular source, so say that this is the shot that I want for my uh, preset number one, I would press the yellow button here at the bottom, and you'll see over here in my interface that that updates in real time of the shot that I want to have. Now let me hold the preset button down again and show you what the other ones do. So the red one, that will simply delete it, okay? So let's do that again, we'll put it back. And the green one, that will allow you to recall that particular shot. So if I move my camera over here, for example, just a little bit, all right, and I want to bring it back to where I had it before, hold down preset, hit the green button, and we're back to normal. Sweet. 
Okay, so now let's do uh, another preset here. What I'm gonna do is, let me grab my PTZ controls. We don't wanna get that close into my face. Let's go to something that's on my shelf here. There we go, got that TriCaster Pro looking there and some turtles looking out, cool. So from here, uh, what I'll do on my control panel is I'll hold down preset and I'll hit the yellow one to assign it to number two, like so and bam, good to go. So now I'm gonna keep holding down my source button and click on number one, and that will bring my PTZ back to the original shot, and then if I hit the green one again, it will go over to my other shot, like so. Bam, pretty cool, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one, we don't need that, and I'll bring this back to default like so. So, a lot of cool things that you can do with the flex control panel. I uh, highly recommend playing around with it. This is a game changer as far as producing shows, to me at least. I uh, highly recommend it. So, play around with this and have some fun. There you have it, another powerful way to use the flex control panel. So for more tutorial videos like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for formalized new tech product training and an opportunity to get TriCaster certified, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech-u. And for information on new tech products and services, make sure to reach out to your local new tech partner or visit our website, newtech.com. And as always, if you're working with new tech products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you're working on. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of Tuesday Tutorials.